Hi Scorpio, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take the messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Energies can be reversed. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. Who's Scorpio dealing with? Who is Scorpio dealing with? Who is Scorpio dealing with? Okay, they're selfish. They're very selfish towards you. It's also kind of like the energy of being smug. The Knight of Wands, the Two of Pentacles. Somebody here likes to have their cake and eat it too. Okay. They're a juggler. That's who you're dealing with. Uh, Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. This person has a tendency to be in and out, fickle, really impulsive too. Like they're really impulsive towards the things they want, but then once they get it, they become uncertain, right? It's like I want what I can't have energy. And then when I have it, I'm not sure, I don't know what I want to do with it. I feel like this is a character trait of somebody. Devil at the bottom of the deck. A lot of obsession here. Okay. A lot of obsession. How do they see Scorpio right now? When Scorpio watches this spirit, how does... How does this person see Scorpio? The sun, Leo energy. Well, they see you in a positive way. This is the, they see you how you want them to see you. So, you know, this is a general message, but however you want this person to see you, that's how they see you. The sun can also talk about them seeing you in a positive light, them having positive uh, opinions about you. It's a playful energy, okay? They could definitely see you as a playful person. You could have a strong Leo placement here. This could have been specifically someone you met over summer or, you know, summer could play a big role in this connection one way or another. I'm also getting like sunflowers here. Okay. Either way of the specifics, they see the way you want them to see you. Some of you in particular, uh, you know, not all of you, uh, it was like 5% of you. There could have been like a one night stand here that happened. Okay. You know, if that is you, I will tell you, they really enjoyed um, their time with you. I'm just, I'm really getting that message. They're just fickle, a little selfish. Uh, you know, they're, they're very much so on the selfish side. Though this person definitely makes their decisions based off of impulse what they want to do in the moment. How do they feel about Scorpio? They're uncertain on whether or not to invest. They see potential. That's the thing. Like they feel like there is potential here, but the thing about the seven of pentacles coming out as feelings to me, as long, you know, they're indecisive already. This is about someone wondering if it's worth the effort. Okay. Wondering if they're going to get a return on their investment or, you know, if, you know, there's really any potential here. What you don't see queen of pentacles, you know, they do see you as someone that has attractive qualities, qualities that they're looking for in another person. And there is something, you know, they want to get off their chest. Ace of Cups, the way they feel. They want to get the way they feel off their chest. The problem I have is it's a very impulsive urge to tell you how they feel, but this type, this is the type of person that I feel like it changes a lot. Their emotions change a lot. 
This is someone that could really uh, turn on a dime, guys. It's a very um, risky energy. Seven of Wands. They are defensive towards you. Some of you guys may have attacked this person in some shape or form, or you know they, they feel like you would attack them. If that's not the case, Scorpio, they definitely feel very uh, defensive towards you, like they have a guard up. You see this person as ignoring you or, or someone you have unfinished business with. You also see this person that doesn't see what they have when it's in front of them. You're confused. Seven of Cups for how you feel. Somebody really has a... There's a lot of unanswered questions here. And I feel like you want clarity. So a lot of you guys feel left in the dark, left waiting with the Three of Wands. What does this person want to do towards Scorpio? What do they want to do towards Scorpio? The Empress? Libra Taurus energy. This is somebody that wants to be affectionate towards you. They want to touch you. They want to, they're definitely wanting to reach out. Okay. That's like somebody that sees you as a romantic partner. Uh, you have very attractive qualities and it's like somebody wants to see if this cat is, you know, able to grow, but that's somebody that wants to be affectionate, romantic, queen of swords. There could be, I have uh, several cards here indicating other options, okay? Just FYI, take it how it resonates. But, you know, this person is wanting to talk to you, but they're under the impression that you are holding a grudge or you're bitter towards them. So it's like they want to talk, but it's almost like they know that if they were to communicate with you, they would have to defend themselves and... They're not in the energy to want to defend themselves, but their their defenses are already up. The emperor. This is somebody that knows your worth, Scorpio. They know your value. This is also somebody here that believes you to be a better fit for them. Okay. You're a better fit for them. I feel like if they are dealing with a third party, uh, this person's very bitter and critical of their every move. I think that's why that they're having issues. So definitely, you know, there could be someone in the middle of you too. But they're wanting to have a stable conversation is what I'm getting. Nine of swords. Restless. It's definitely, they, they think you to be the best fit out of everyone else. Uh, eight of wands for their next actions. This is coming towards you. This is like rapidly. I just see text messages coming in like one after another after another here. Um, Queen of Wands trying to get your attention. Trying to see if you're, you know, still admiring them. Six of Pentacles. I do see some type of admission here. Hmm. Yeah, somebody's going to ask for a new beginning. I see somebody telling you the truth. I see somebody telling you what they've been up to. For sure. Ace of Swords. That's a confession. Somebody's clearly been giving to another situation. But I see a confession for the justice card, Libra energy. This is somebody coming in to tell you the truth. This is somebody uh, showing up in the physical here with the ace of pentacles. 
they may show up um, through text message first, but they're definitely going to express to you some type of truth. And the justice card, you know, that's when that's in the uh, outcome, this is definitely somebody here that is going, you know, give you some type of justice, some type of closure and clarity here. Because a lot of you do feel like with the Seven of Cups being in your emotions, not only are you confused, but I feel like some of you guys are feeling like you're wishful thinking, just here waiting for somebody to communicate with you. Not that you're necessarily stuck waiting, but it's definitely something that is on your mind uh, quite frequently. Okay, is this person going to communicate? Okay, what were their intentions? I do see somebody coming in and communicating with you and asking for a new beginning and asking um, if you guys could potentially start over here. Eight of Pentacles. I feel like this person is wanting to show you their consistent side because this is clearly somebody that has not been consistent at all. Just be careful when this person that has been fickle in and out, be careful when they communicate with you because they do have a tendency to go back to this type of behavior is what I'm seeing. But whatever situation they have been giving to, there's somebody in their life that is extremely critical of them, Scorpio. And I feel like they're tired of giving their attention and time to this critical person, this person that does not make them feel good. I just don't want them to go back and forth from you to them. Each time they find something they don't like in the moment about each of you. And I know that might be hard to hear, but that is what I'm seeing. I'm not saying they're going to do that. I'm saying they have the potential to. What's Scorpio's advice? I heard pay attention, okay, to their behavior. But I feel like, you know, that your advice is going to be... Definitely make someone earn your trust. Uh, two of swords in reverse being the advice. Don't wear rose-colored glasses. Make sure you know you're seeing somebody for who they truly are. Three of swords. Definitely take into account what they've already done. Okay, That's your advice. Do what you want with that information. You are protected, temperance, you're being divinely guided. Some of you guys, the clear-cut advice could be just to reject this person, but the general message I'm getting is to not wear rose-colored glasses, not ignore, do not ignore the third party, do not ignore the pain that they have caused you. Don't ignore these things. All right, Scorpio, those are your messages for today. I hope this gave you some clarity, and until next time, bye.